Hi, sweet friends, and welcome to my weekly vlog. Today's the first day back from vacation, and if you watched my last vacation vlog, I ended that vlog at like 2.22 a.m. when we got home, and now it's like 2.22 p.m. at the next day, so I've been taking it easy for about the past 12 hours. It is time now to go ahead and get on up and get some things done. I want to get the house clean before I start unpacking and all that. I just want to start with the clean slate and the way I do it, I start in the room that needs the least. And so I'm going to start here in the YouTube room. I just want to get it vacuumed and uh, kind of cleared out from the last things that I shared with y'all. That way, as I'm unpacking, I can bring my new things that I want to share with y'all in here and uh, it'll be a clean slate. So I'm going to work in here. It won't take me very long. And then we're going to move on to my bedroom and then you know, see where we go from YouTube there. YouTube room is vacuumed and uh, picked up. I didn't have much in here to do. I do have a box right there that I need to uh, share with y'all. Something I got off of Amazon, uh, my infinity hoop. It's as far as I've gotten with that. And then that little bag is some thrift store finds I need to make a TikTok on. And then I have my little new basket down there on the ground um, with some trash that I've been collecting to uh, share with y'all. I do like a product review with the with the different things that I've used throughout the month. It's, good. it's actually more than a month, guys. It's just me. So it might be two months worth of trash to even have enough to make a video. Anyway, that's it. This room's done. So I always start with the rooms that don't need much because I need to um, feel accomplished, I guess you could say. So one room's done. The living room is clean. I didn't have to do anything in here, although it is decorated still for Valentine's Day. I'm fine with that. I knew I did not want to begin taking down Valentine's Day and not get finished. One of the things um, that my mom always did is she made sure the house was clean before we left. So although it's still decorated for Valentine's Day, the room is clean. And uh, when I walked in the door from vacation, I knew I wouldn't be like anxious or anything like that, like you would get if your house was dirty. So it's clean in here. You know, I didn't do anything. I did um, vacuum the floors while I had the vacuum out in the um, YouTube room. Now the shelves, they're a little bare because I haven't decorated them. I took out all the Christmas items there and uh, haven't redecorated that. So the shelves are not done, but there's no sense of redecorating them because Easter's going up next. Going on to my bedroom, not much to do in here. I'm having to uh, charge up the vacuum cleaner. And so I'm going to get a few things um, done in here, and then I'm going to bring my suitcase in here and begin unpacking. I got the room picked up. There was a few things that need to be put away. I got the floors vacuum cleaned, and now I'm ready to unpack. I have a few things on the bed that have to do with unpacking and uh, put the suitcase up on a tote. I didn't want to put it on my bed since it's not been wiped down since coming through the airport. But here it is, guys. When I repack my suitcase, I fold everything up as if it was clean, even though it's dirty. I find it to pack better if everything is folded. A few things out of the suitcase so that y'all could see. This is how I pack my stuff. I have those, those things right there so y'all can't see my unders. But this is how I pack it. So um, this side of clothes is clean. That side of clothes is dirty. And then everything here is dirty. But just fold it up just like it's fresh out of the dryer. Got the suitcase unpacked. Dollar Tree. Thrift stores. Sea glass from three different beaches. This is my, like health and beauty products. These just stay in the bag. Put them in my closet in this a bigger bag. That bag has got everything. If I was going to go like to my sister's or something, I would take this bigger bag with me. And it's already like packed. It stays packed. It's been packed for years. I use that bag for a lot of years. Here's all the like ephemera that I picked up along the way. 
my small pot, small pile of clean clothes and my pile of dirty clothes. I need to wash um, with a with a scrub brush both pair of my vintage Havanas and get my pillow slides put up. That's it, guys. That is everything from my suitcase. The next room that needed a little bit of picking up was the kitchen. I had done a Dollar Tree haul right before I left on vacation and I didn't get to put the things away. So when I cleaned out the YouTube room, I brought them here in the kitchen. So I have these little drying mats. Some of this stuff is for work. So these are for work, some chips for work. And then here are some of the snacks that I had for vacation that I will probably go ahead and bag up for work. So some Gardettos, I had these, I think, Pop Daddy uh, pretzels, a few leftover gummies, and then these are from The Flight. They give you these on Southwest. These are delicious, and I love their snack mix. So. These are from the flight. Anyway, I'm going to get all these things put away. Everything put away. Quick. Next up, I'm getting hungry, guys. And we ate out for like a week. <laughs> and so I kind of wanted something like semi-homemade. You know, something I can eat here at the house. So I remembered I had these meatballs. I've been seeing people haul the hamburger crumbles or beef crumbles from the Dollar Tree by this Hereford brand. But I had picked up these meatballs at the Dollar General probably a year ago. They're still good. Let's see. What are they saying? Let me see. June 1st, 2024. So I thought, you know what? I'll eat those. Make me some angel hair pasta. I have this uh, marinara. I think I picked this. I think this is an Aldi brand. So it would make me a little quick. Um, a spaghetti and meatball dinner. Out of the bag, it says to remove them from the packaging and cook them in the microwave for about a minute to two minutes. So I don't, I didn't realize that they had a lot of spaghetti sauce. So I may not even need to use the marinara, but I have it out just in case I want to. Straight out of the microwave, I did cook it for a minute and 30 Here's seconds. My plate all served up. So I cooked half of a package of spaghetti. So this is half of a half. And then I halved the bag of meatballs. So the meatballs came with 11. So for today, I have six meatballs. For tomorrow, I have five meatballs and the other half of my spaghetti. I did try half of one of the meatballs. Let's see if I can find which one it was. This one, I think. I ate half of it just to give it a go. It tasted good. Here's my leftovers. It was very good, guys. The The meatballs weren't bad at all. They really weren't. Okay, for lunch, I'm gonna eat some beef tamales. I have two beef tamales that I vacuum sealed back in November on the 21st. So we're gonna give these a try, see how good they are. Fresh out of the microwave. They look good. I'll pop back on after I eat them and let y'all know how they taste after four months being in the freezer. Delicious, guys. I like my tamales with ketchup and green sauce they weren't bad i mean they've been in the freezer for four months yeah uh, you know vacuum sealed they stayed fresh they stayed good some items for my lunch and some snacks for the week for work so gardettos cheetos flaming hot cheetos those are from the dollar tree i got four tuna packs from the dollar tree and then these are just some leftovers from vacation some gummies some almonds that are dusted in chocolate and some pretzels so those pretzels will be really good with this dill tuna salad it is literally like mayonnaise tuna salad so unlike these that are just plain tuna this one is kind of a mayonnaise style but yes it's got a little mayonnaise in it snack bag the only thing that wouldn't fit is the gardettos everything else fits straight into my cute little snack bag for supper i cooked me a, a ribeye 
and some steamed rice. I had picked up this at Ollie's for 99 cents a while back, and I thought we'd give it a try. It is spicy tomato and pepper steamed rice. Indeed, it is a little spicy. I like Heinz 57 or A1 sauce with my steaks, and I'm out of Coke, so I had to drink a Dr. Pepper. Here's my steak cut. I like mine medium or rare so i kind of overcooked it a little bit but i think it's going to be delicious either this way morning for work i came outside in short sleeves I had to turn right back around and go back inside and put on a sweatshirt it's actually cool this morning Stay back at work after a week off got me some tacos and a crisp coke <laughs> i need to go to the store and buy me some breakfast stuff but for today a taco will do. This evening I'm having supper with my friends. We meet once a month and have supper together and today's the day. So I just thought I would share with y'all my little outfit of the day. This is a, a Victoria's Secret sweatshirt dress that I got last year, I'm sure, and never got a chance to wear it. And I just think it's cute and it's fun. It's a, a little cool outside. It's not too cold. So where I could have a sleeve on and have my legs exposed and I, I won't be too cold anyway just thought it's cute 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 little outfit I have on a pair of white vans I've had these for years I just don't wear them very often so that they stay nice and white I'm gonna get some really bad weather I have two squirrels there they're living their best life without Oakley chasing them off and running them off Aren't they cute? Look at them. They always had to stay in the trees to keep away from him. But now they can just roam free. A water bucket, let it fill up with some rain water for the plants that, that don't get natural rain. I did get the yard cut yesterday. I got about halfway done and my belt broke on the mower. So my neighbor came over last night or yesterday evening and uh, finished it up probably from a, a little bit on this side of the bird bath over to the, to the driveway. He uh, finished it up really quick for me. So I'm appreciative of that. Most sure. of the rainwater drown the plants too bad but these are my little plants here that don't get rain and so I just wanted to give them some good rain water everything seems to be recovering a little bit from the freeze or uh, you know having to put them out my lilies are growing I'm getting some new growth here Everything needs to be refreshed. It's kind of yucko, a lot of dead. Weather did finally get here. Everything's looking so crummy and yucky. <sighs> Look at my poor plants, yucko. I did get another full bucket of rainwater collected, so that's nice. Look at this big thing. Big old weed here just growing. So ugly. Got some some free things growing right there. Looks like some what is it called asparagus fern. I'm not sure. I could probably say that wrong. Little little free for all right there. Everything's just ready to be cleaned up and and done up. I got a big old pile of weeds. I can't get right there with my with my big um, zero turn. So that's a a big fat mess. Anyway, everything's getting good and watered, and I got some new uh, macrame. These just got so yucky last year. This year I went with black, so I'll be sharing that. You can see how yucky those were all. Pretty white macrames turned yucko so we're gonna do something different this year and use black just ready to get things back in ship shape 
get the porch cleaned up, get the house washed off, and just start to enjoy spring. I made me some chicken nuggets. These are the kind I always get. Last time I purchased them, they were $17.99 at Costco. It is the Just Bear brand lightly breaded chicken breast chunks. Uh, you can cook these in the air fryer. It does have the air fryer instructions on the back. I cooked enough for two meals, honestly. Um, but the thing that I wanted to bring y'all along with me is I wanted to try this. This pink stuff as seen on TikTok and Instagram. This is something that I purchased at Dollar Tree. It's good until 10 26 2024. So I'm going to put me some in this little copita and um, give it a try. I'm just procrastinating trying this, but uh, it was something that came out on TikTok by Chef Fee. I'm not sure how you say it. It's supposed to be sweet and tangy sauce made vibrant with dragon fruit and spices gluten-free and a vegan hashtag pink sauce the top ingredient here is dragon fruit puree puree yeah that's right uh 100 calories for two tablespoons i'm gonna give it a Here's go my first bite It's not bad at all, guys. These chicken nuggets are really good. If you want a nice quality chicken nugget, get some of those just bare. I don't know if they where else they sell them, but I know they sell them at Costco and Sam's. Mm. Hmm. This is not bad, guys. It's really not. I was a little... I was a little worried. I, I've been procrastinating since I bought it to try it, but I really like that. That's interesting. Come to the tractor dealership, the John Deere dealership, if you will, and get a new belt for my zero turn. I think I shared with y'all in a clip earlier in the video that it had a broke while I was mowing grass. Today I was out doing a little running around, decided to stop in at chicken express i enjoyed it last time when i got it so i thought why not give it a go again it's a little spendy but i mean 12.52 for one meal i mean it would be worse if we were like in a restaurant right so i got three chicken legs and it also increased the price a little bit because i got jalapenos <gasps> if you've never tried chicken and jalapenos oh so delicious and I got coleslaw and a biscuit. So I'm going to sit here in this parking lot, enjoy lunch. Got me a crisp Coke. So anyway, I'm going to enjoy this and then I'm going to press on with my day. Next thing on my to-do list is get Valentine's Day taken down. I am running a little bit behind, but... I knew I did not want to leave a mess um, when I went on vacation. So I just slept it up. I ran out of time and I didn't want to halfway take it down. I wanted to be able to just leave it up. At least my house was clean when I got home, although it was still decorated for Valentine's Day. I couldn't stand it a minute longer, guys. I had to get outside and do some, some work here on the porch. It felt so good to get out here. Really, I've been in the house editing and editing and editing and all those videos you'll have seen before this one comes out. It was a lot, and it just felt good to get out and take a break from all that and uh, clean up my plants. This one, walking slowly. And then I have some over here that I cleaned up as well. Just slowly but surely, I've been out here probably about 45 minutes and just got some done. It's good to be outside. A lot of work around the yard. And so today is my second day in the backyard. I have my little cart um, loaded down with some things that I need. This little cart was given to me from my neighbors when they moved. I have my fire ant bait. I have me a 
bucket, trash bags, some gloves, my lopping shears. I have a project I'm working on. I need that bag. It's already got some salt in it. And I have two shovels. For a friend of the channel, last spring, this concrete slab was a old, old shed that was falling down. So I took it down last year. And um, so I came out here this spring just to finish up a few things that were still lingering. I had a old water softener that still had salt in it. So I worked to get that emptied. That was a lot, it took a lot out of me, but I did get it emptied. We were able to put it in here in the trash bin and I've just weed, weeded a lot. So I've been working out here pretty much for about two hours, I think, but it's looking better. It doesn't look like much to y'all, I'm sure, but it's looking good to me. Next project, the shed that I tore down last spring that I was just telling y'all about, this is the burn pile that we use. So there is a ton of nails and debris here. So I have a big magnet that I'm gonna be using to get all this picked up. The magnet I'm gonna be using for this. And that was just a little bit of going over this pile. Lots and lots of nails from that Got that chore knocked out. I don't know how many pounds of nails this is, but that is a lot of nails, guys. Sheesh. Got it all See, leveled out. Supper, we're at a new restaurant. Super yummy. It's a Mongolian stir fry and a sushi restaurant. We're excited to give it a try. I'll put number here because my number's on there. I'm getting the Lake Jackson roll. And... A green salad. Here's my LA Jackson roll, guys. It looks absolutely delicious. I've never actually had one that is deep fried, so this is going to be a little different for me, but it does look very good. And it is a nice quantity of sushi. It's a, a beautiful day here in uh, South Texas. A little windy. We got the deck belt replaced on the mower so I was able to get the yard mowed it had already gotten high uh, it's looking good the grass is looking good thought I would give you a quick porch update so this week I have been working on plants every evening I've been out here for at least an hour cleaning up all my plants so let me show you here they are just you know I gave them all fertilizer what is it miracle grow and rainwater to get them going you can see they have some new growth in them they're all cleaned up there's some more been going one plant at a time and just trimming out all the yuck that was in them. Every time you go back, I always find more yuck. <laughs> anyway, here's some more over here. Little ones. I did not get to this side yet. That's for another time. Some more plants up here that I got cleaned up. Look at my lilies I have quite a few ferns and I just always clean them up every year sometimes I will buy two new ferns to put on those hangers I have one on each each um, post here and um, this is what I'm talking about so usually I will get a new one for here and for here. I don't know that I will this year. I'm trying not to spend much money. I did spend, I think, about $35 and got me some new macrame. I haven't shared that with y'all yet, but I will. Anyway, this is what I've been working on. The ants are about to give me a fit. They don't 
they don't die they just move to a new mound and they're just a pain so i'm going to get all this cleaned up and my next step is going to be to move i'm going to have to make a temporary table and move all the plants off the porch because the first step of all of this is to bleach the vinyl on the house so that is what i got to get done now two little makeshift tables to put all my porch plants on got them watered here got the porch cleared off of things that needed to be cleared off so i'm fixing to put the bleach on the house went up to the uh, Dollar General yesterday and got some Clorox bleach. That was actually $8 worth of bleach. Uh, bleach has gone up quite a lot. So I'm hoping this will do the whole got house. Got everything for my little junk garden cleared out. Moved over here. I got all the vinyl bleached. I'm gonna let it sit overnight and tomorrow it'll be ready to wash off. You can see it kind of dripping right there that what was it 3.75 quart did the whole house so that was great areas like this where the dirt splashes back on the house i did um do extra bleach there so hopefully that'll come clean the last few clips of this video we got to get the house rinsed off guys don't want to leave y'all hanging on that Y'all saw yesterday, I got um, the house sprayed down with bleach and today I'm gonna come back and uh, rinse it off with the water hose. The three projects for today was to get this rug washed, got it washed down and it's hanging to dry. It'll be ready for tomorrow. Final siding washed down from the bleach that I put on it yesterday. It looks about a hundred times Better. another little section. I think this vinyl siding was put on this house when I was a kid still hanging tough it's got some minor issues but i think it's fair to wrap up today's activities and to wrap up this vlog i scrubbed down the porch using this comet foam bath cleaner with bleach and i used my large broom kind of like a mop but just spread the comet across the porch and scrubbed it down with the old mop oh, the old broom anyway guys that is it gonna wrap this I hope up you have enjoyed it this week's vlog we've unpacked we've cleaned house and we've done a whole lot of yard work in this video as you can see I got a little sunburnt in the midst of all my yard work anyway guys I hope you have enjoyed the video and if you have please give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below become part of my friends here on YouTube and I will see each of you in my next video. Bye guys.